This is a Husqvarna commercial LZ6127. On this Husqvarna machine here, uh, operates like many other zero turns out there. You have your blade engagement switch here, you have your key here, your throttle here, your choke is here, you have an hour meter on this machine, um, you have a parking brake and your control arms here. To start the machine, you need to choke the machine, throttle about half speed, the parking brake must be up and the arms must be in the outward position. Once you have that done, you can start the machine. Once the machine starts, push the throttle down. To actually start moving the machine, you need to let your parking brake down, then pull your arms in. When you're moving the machine, if any time you're operating the machine, you need to have all these machines come with seat belts. You need to have this seat belt on and the rollover protection system in the up position while the machine is being operated. On this machine, once the machine is running, to engage your blades, you have the red knob here. You pull it out to engage your blades to cut them on. You push down to cut them off. Adjusting your deck height. You have a foot pedal assist here. You have a pin here. You set your pin to the desired height. You have a, a graph on this side and you have a graph on this side of your cutting heights. Once you set the pin where your desire is, push with your foot, pull up on this pin where your handle is, Use your foot to let the deck down to the position. Now you're in the position that you desire to start cutting your grass. To gain access to your belts and your pulleys, all you have to do is pop these clips here. Once the clips are popped, pick the guard up, slide it back, and it will lift off. You have grease fittings on, you have three spindles on the machine. You have grease fittings on all three of them. They're right here. Uh, to access the center one, unscrew these two knobs here. There's one on the other side and this, this whole plate will pick up and you can easily access the center spindle. This is your hydro tank reservoir for your hydro pumps. It uses Mobile One 1550 fully synthetic only. Full to the top, check it daily. This is your hydro oil filter down here. The service on your hydro oil filter is 200 hours to change it. Not the oil, just the filter. You also have your fuel valve, right, left, and off. This is a colder engine. This is a dipstick. Make sure it's at the full level at all times. Check daily. Colder engine takes 10W30 oil. This is your oil filter right here. Change your oil filter and oil between the first five and 10 hours of operation. After that, change it at one oil at 100 hours and then change the oil and oil filter at 200 hours. The oil drain is on the opposite side of the engine below the starter. This is your air filter. Pop the clips back, pull the cover off. You have the outer paper air filter. Need to check it daily. Knock whatever debris on it off. The inner filter. Keep the outer filter clean and you won't have to replace the inner as often. Put the filter back on, put the cover back on.